Hi guys! Happy Father's Day to all fathers out there. So for today's video, I'm gonna make all-time favorite. And this is all the ingredients I have. The first one is the cornstarch sticks, canton noodle, chicken thigh, pork, oil, chicken cubes, fish sauce, soy sauce, and liquid seasonings, pepper, cabbage, garlic and onion, carrots, green beans, celery, and you can add more vegetable if you want. You can also add bell pepper but this is the all the ingredients that i that is available on my fridge so that's all i got so now guys i'm gonna show you in detail so someone is asking me to cook this recipe in detail so now I'm slicing the uh, celery just like this. Make sure all the celery is sliced like this slant because every time you're cooking a recipe like this, pancit, we slice all the ingredients, all the vegetables. And guys, this is my personal recipe. Filipinos, we have different kinds of recipe for this. And the second one is the carrots. We just take off the ends, just like that. the peeler and we're gonna slice this too in a slant slant this is slant right just like that okay depends on how thick it is or thing but the normal thing is the normal thickness is like this this is the easiest way to do it I think it's slant and put this into into strips like strips like this okay and then all of it we will do this all of it like this by the way i i want carrots and my daughter wants carrots so i'm gonna use two pieces of big carrots big carrots is better so that it's a lot easier for you to slice it whatever is available in the in your kitchen is fine now it's the green beans this is the green beans you see the green beans they have uh, both ends you have to take off both ends both ends some people don't do this but i want both ends off and then of course you have to do it too slant slant like just like that all of it it's a, little bit, it's a little bit hard because this is very tiny and when it 
comes to rice noodles, vermicelli noodles, or fancy it. I love vegetables. I like a lot of vegetables in it. So I'm doing it in detail. Okay? Hope you understand, guys. I'm not a professional chef, but I love cooking. And I love to eat. Next is the cabbage. You just slice the cabbage. It's a big cabbage. But I'm not gonna use all of this because this is too much. Maybe we will just use half of it. We have to take off the ends. You see the cabbage. They have a hard thing here in the middle. What I'm doing here is I take off all the middle. Just be careful with the knife. Because I am very clumsy. Make sure it's already... This is the hard one. I don't like this because it's bitter. And it's... And I don't like it. I have to do it twice like that. It's long. I like garbage, but it makes you classy if you eat much of garbage. Just like that. See, it's long. And it goes on the plate. Onion. I'm Every time I cook, even if I'm not a good cook or chef or whatever, as long as my food tastes good, that's what it matters to me. You will just slice the onion just like this. The second thing you do is you put water in it, in the pot, it's like uh, 6 cups of water, and then we're gonna put the chicken thighs in it, put the chicken thighs, this is 1, 2, three four chicken thighs and then after we put that we're gonna put the chicken cubes just like that and then I put it on the stove I'm gonna add more two pieces of bay leaves for this to for more flavor for so that it's uh, good and then this is pepper. Just add a little bit of chocolate. And we need to cook this until it's cooked. Hey guys, the chicken that we boil is already cooked. So we'll just put this here and make it cold for a moment. So we can shred this shred dish later. This later. Let's pour pieces of chicken thighs. It's still cold, and then we will shred this later when it's ready. It's still hot now. So this is the chicken that we boiled earlier. I already take off the bones and I already wash my hand of course so we will just shred the chicken like this I'm doing it without the glass because it's a lot easier for me so that I can easily take off the fats in it 
and some people is using chicken breast you can do that as well but I chose the chicken thighs better because it's a lot more juicier than the other one so just continue doing this and take off the fats and it's really good with pancit Now, I will saute the pork. I want pork in my pencil. I just wash it and then slice it small like that. And then, I will put Himalayan salt. I want Himalayan salt. Just for flavor. And then, pepper. Just like that. And we will wait until it's cold and well. I'm gonna do now is I will put two here in the water so that it's a lot easier for me to cook it and just soak it in the water. It's two pieces. Soak it in the water for five minutes until it's already soft then we will cook it remember guys the chicken broth that I cooked earlier this is from the chicken so this is the water the broth that we're gonna use to cook my pancit the noodles so what I'm gonna do now is I will just add soy sauce fish sauce this is fish sauce we just add a little for this biscuit this is salty make sure you estimate it right and the seasonings and then pepper and then we will wait until it's boil and then when in the well uh, water is boiling we're gonna put the noodles and guys when it's boiling now we can put the noodles now just like that and i'm gonna share you a secret on how to make the pancit last long this is one top of the vinegar so that the pancit will stay longer just like that and then I spread the pancit like that the noodles I use this fork so that it spread like that and then next we can we have to do is I'm gonna mix the pancit canton because my husband loves this but it's up to you guys if you wanna yeah, if you don't want to mix it but I like this better my husband likes this better too when it's mixed with this this is the pancit canton and the noodles and let's wait and if you see there's there's a lot of water in it all we have to do is drain it and we can use the soup in other stuff like soup at night stock it's a stock that's the proper word the stock and it's cooking so this is the vegetable what it looks like when i slice it into strips cabbage it's the carrots the green beans celery garlic and onion and the chicken shredded chicken and the pork 
So this time, we're going to sauté the garlic. Sauté the garlic and we'll wait. It's moving. And after the garlic, when it's a little bit golden brown, we have to put the onion. This is the next is onion. Saute the onion. And when you are sauteing garlic or onion, you can put the flame on a high heat. Saute this like that. And the next thing we're gonna do is we will put the chicken and the pork and then mix it mix 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 just mix a little and then we're gonna put the vegetable now this is the celery the green beans and the carrots we will mix that all together and then the cabbage and after that we're gonna put some seasonings this is the chicken cubes we will put the chicken broth instead of water i just use instead the chicken broth that i used earlier so that it's more flavorful just a little bit of chicken broth and we're gonna add the noir seasoning just a little for more flavorings and then we're gonna put soy sauce the soy sauce I just estimate this don't put too much because this is salty and after that we're gonna add pepper so that. Wow. and you know guys it's hard to cook while I'm holding my phone and steering at the same time but I can make it I'm doing this all the time just mix it <laughs> this is a lot of vegetable I like vegetables and this it's a lot better if you cook a uh, pancit with a lot of vegetable it's healthy and because it's Father's Day I want it special and this is the first time I mix the chicken and the pork most of the time I cook it with chicken and shrimp because my husband loves shrimp but because we have too much food for today I'll just make chicken and pork instead so you will just cook it like that not so long maybe it's only 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes because i don't like very overcooked vegetable i want it crunchy at the same time i want crunchy vegetable so just continue stirring this oh my god i can smell it because of the flavors oh my god this is really good yummy and this is it pancit that's a lot of vegetables just mix it together so this is my recipe of pancit I'm cooking it separately, the vegetable. Some people is cooking it uh, together, the pancit and the vegetable, but I don't like that way because it makes my vegetable overcook. 
and I want my vegetable crunchy so this is it it's ready guys thank you guys for watching happy father's day happy father's day to my husband my dad my brother-in-law grandpa and all the fathers out there all over the world thank you guys for watching again have a nice day